Oh boys and gals, it has done begun. <laughs> That's a big rig, ain't it? Yeah! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Before we get into today's video, be for one thing, this video has been since the channel was ever created one of the most requested videos that I do a duck pond in my backyard. Well, as you can see, we're finally doing it. But before we get going into today's video, I wanna tell you guys about the antique duck decoy shirt from Ducks. This one right here, it's a mallard old wood decoy, antique decoy. This is a limited run of shirts. These shirts, extremely limited. If you wanna grab one, I will link it at the top of the description below. This shirt will only be available until they're gone and then they'll never come back. So if you guys want one, I would go down in the description, hit the Ducks Waterfowl link and go get you one quickly. Number two, this weekend, you're watching this on Sunday, Saturday through Monday, we're doing a beginning of season sale. And Saturday through Monday, you can receive up to 15% off on select items. So I'll link it all down in the description below. Go check it out. Go pick you something up before it's all gone. And thank you all for being here. Let's get into the video. Oh, we're just mashing around on the old golf cart. And we got so much going down here at the old Sand Hill Flyway Lodge. Yep, look, I know. I got a new pair of goggles, except for these are actually normal looking glasses and not goggles. I uh, hope you guys enjoy them. I have to give my eyes a break from the contacts. They have been hurting so bad, so glasses are back for a little bit. Smash the thumbs up button if you've missed the old glasses. <laughs> yes, I have the auto darkening ones. I know I'm old, but a lot going on here today at the lodge. Dad's here helping me. We got rails back out back, old Bradley. Uh, we'll go back and check and see what he's got going on back there, but a ton of work going on at the lodge today. But this is what we got going today. Uh, this is our furniture from the house. We just got a new huge sectional for the couch. And this is really good leather couches, and it almost matches what we got going on here already. Now, a lot of you know I have explained the situation. This year we are going to have a lot more people here uh, as far as clients go. And we need more seating arrangements. We need more eating arrangements. So the plan is here, kicking off the video, before we head to the leases and check all the water. After this little update I show you, we're going to head to every one of my pond leases because I have to assess the water situation. It could be good, well it could be moderate, good or it could be really bad <sighs> well it's so hot out i had to close the door fire up the ac again oh, that's a lot of extra seating in here though guys drop a comment down below does it look bad let's go up here i just don't want to have so much furniture to where it's kind of cluttered uh, but we need more seating because last year there really wasn't enough couch seating and people had to stay at the table over here and sit at night and gab, which people like doing. But check it out. I think it looks great. Check it out from up here. I think it looks really awesome. What do you guys think? Too much? I don't think so. Look at it from up here down on it. I like it. I think it looks good. I really like it. Yeah, I think it looks good. Huh. Drop a comment down below. Let us know. It's so hot. This is what we got going on out here. Can't even tell anything's different. That's our water line that is gonna feed the guide shack. Uh, all of the guides that are living back here in the corner will have a full bathroom like I showed y'all. We'll have a full shower. Everything that we haven't had, pretty much. But yeah, he got it all done. It's all buried, ready to go. Thank you, Rails Back. Everybody, uh, who cares? And everybody who's known Brad Rails Back, you've seen him on a ton of my videos, whether in Minnesota or here or North Dakota. Go give him a follow on Instagram. He takes amazing photos. And by day, he is a plumber. Uh, he has his family business that he helps run, and he does an amazing job. Thank you, Bradley. 
Oh, and this is what we got going on in here. Yeah. All the plumbing action. They're doing one heck of a job. Here's our shower. Let me see if I can show y'all. Uh-huh. It's gonna be nice in here. Full washer dryer. Everything the boys would need. All right, let's get to sweating. Let's go check out this water situation. I'm hoping we're gonna be all right on all these ponds, man. I leased, I leased so many ponds that it's gonna be a huge bummer if they don't hold water. Let's go check them out. Well, huge, huge change of plans in this video, y'all. I was gonna show you guys um, all of my leases and go check water and crops and scout for dove. Well, I did all that. No. <laughs> is that cool? Yeah, it's awesome. Now we have transitioned into pond mode, and this is wild. Uh, man, this is so awesome. No way. Yeah, check this out. We're in the backyard. No. Oh, <laughs> He's making a whole circle. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Stay in there. Look at this. Wow. Uh, so this is the backyard. Holy smoke. He's getting down. Holy cow. <laughs> so the plan is this is our hole here and you can see where he's starting it he's taking all this dirt all this sand and adding to this hill as you can see he's got a game plan he's making it happen i'm so happy so this is all going to be dug out it's going to be huge huge Holy smokes. What's up? What's going on, man? Good. How are you? Good. How's, Good. Our, how's everybody doing today? Good. Good deal. Good deal. God dang, you even got your duck shirt on. Heck yeah, man. Oh, the old fast food <laughs> shirt. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm ready to go smack some. <laughs> I seen. I bet you I seen about 500 this morning. Awesome. Just kind of here and there. Yeah. Dude, awesome. this is huge. I think I'm going to be able to get you about like this by the end of the day. So. So is this is this coming this out too? Yeah. Oh, this I'm gonna come off of there and just come down here and then try and get you down to that clay. Like we talked wow. about. Wow. Think it'll hold? It Why? might. <laughs> it might. Yeah. I hope it does. So do you think we'll have to line it? We might, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, cow manure line it? We can cow manure it. Uh, I've never heard. I've salt. never seen that done. Yeah. So like they put. Well, if you ever been to a farm pond. They never lose water, and cows are always out in there, and right. they're doing their duty in the bathroom too. So, right, or in the pond, I guess. So, right. Daddy, yeah. do we can do fishing? Now. <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell everybody your name and the business. Okay, I'm Garrett Johnson, uh, Lawn Construction, out of Lindsburg, Kansas. Uh, we do a lot of grading and excavating, demo work, and I'm here building the pond. Yep. If you guys are looking for dirt work and you live anywhere around me. I'll link your business down yeah. in the description, man. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, no problem, man. Dude, you got the unit here. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Absolute unit. You've already moved. How long have you been working? I've, oh, is this morning? Just an hour. An hour? Yeah. An hour and he got that much done. All right, I'm gonna get out of your way. <laughs> I'll let you go. All right, man. All righty, have brother. Okay, yeah, you too. I'll be back out. Whatever. Not if you're thirsty or whatever, tell me. I'll bring you lunch. All right, man, don't worry. Amazing. <laughs> Oh boy. Are you ready for your pond, Big Duke? Yeah. Give me Nux. Yeah. There we go. There we go. He is getting down. the ridge line here 
taking all this dirt and building onto the hill. Like Bob, a duck pond, really, you think you're gonna get ducks? Maybe not so many ducks, but geese. And here's why. North of my property, straight north, northeast, just a hair, about two and a half miles, maybe, yeah, probably like three to four miles, actually, um, right up the highway. So this highway runs right next to my, my house. Basically, long story short, there's a huge roost every single year tons of specks snow geese lesser canada geese they pile up on this roost and when they transfer from town and back to the country roost it's right over my house every single year i actually sky busted one back here last year and i'm getting it mounted because it's the first goose i've ever shot on my property so theoretically the amount of flight that'll be over the house we just set a huge floater spread out here a huge Canada floater spread. It'll draw so much attention that it'll be awesome. Plus, having the pond back here, better for to, to hold deer around, everything. Eventually, we might fish it, but I just want to get some water held in it right now. Oh, my legs are so <laughs> What do you think? You got, some, you got some things going on around here this <laughs> yeah. morning. Isn't that, that awesome? Cool. Yeah. Look how much he's done. He's done all that in one hour. Will he fill up that? Is that how high it'll be all the way around? That or is he lowering he's it? He's gonna level the back of that out, and then the oh. center section will come out, and this will be this will be the deep spot up against Here, this hill. Here, let Cody sit in the middle. I like that area. It's like yeah. the perfect spot for him. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Well, all right. First of all, I just want to say how uh, gracious I am uh, to have the opportunity from Garrett to come and do this pond for me he's doing and done did an amazing job we have a lot of plans so stick around till the end of this video i go over our plans what we're going to do for a well uh, we're going to bring some cattle in and i'm actually going to raise some cattle so long story short thank you mom construction out of lindsford kansas if you guys want a pond hit up garrett on instagram he will not disappoint you i promise and big shout out to old p diddy give him a follow on instagram because my goodness, this drone work is just grade A amazing. My goodness, guy, you outdid yourself, didn't you? So, number one, putting a well on this. I have to re-record this. I just filmed this whole scene and didn't hit the record button. Number one, to hunt this, there's a couple options. I can't just put a well right here, fill the pond, and hunt it. Now, if I get some cows out here and I have a well and they drink from the well water being the pond, I need to check how many head I need. If you all have that information, drop a comment down below right now. Number two, I choose not to put a well on it and try to let it naturally fill and keep full, which in Kansas is dangerous because the water, it could dry up every single year, which may not be a bad idea if it did dry up so I could plant millet. Okay, there's also an option to try to apply for this to be a wetlands. And basically, it's a sort of if it becomes a certified wetlands, basically it states, okay, this is a registered wetlands from the state, and nobody can ever fill it in, build a house on it. It will remain a wetlands upon till the end of time. That's an option, and you can hunt that as well. Um, now there's some gray areas that I just don't know, which I'm going to have to do a bunch of researching. So if you guys could help me, drop a comment down below and let me and P. Diddy know what are the guidelines to uh, having a well or doing the wetlands thing. You have to have cattle. You gotta about have cattle, yeah. yeah. I, and I asked them, I'm like, if you know how many head of cattle, drop a comment down below. Because I'd like to have some steer we could butcher and that could be our meat yeah for the lodge for Bert 
Wouldn't be much, it'd be one fence across your backyard. Yeah, I mean, if we had five head, yeah. if five head could, one, allow us to hunt it, feed, my, feed and drink my cattle, then the cattle would feed the lodge and the clients, we might have to do that. We might be buying some cattle some. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient, that's right. Uh, number two, so that's dilemma number one. If you have any, any information to add to that, please, please, please drop a comment down below. Number two, check it out. We have hit really, really good clay. Really good clay. And see how tall this hill is right now. What he's doing is pulling this good clay out. Look how soft it's getting. I didn't think I had it because we are called Sand Hill Flyway. It's sandy. So he's going to take a lot of this back off the top, which is good, good clay dirt. And he's going to line the entire beach around this thing. So we're going to try to clay line it first, see if it holds naturally. Number three, we have been having so much good luck and so much help from y'all with the likes. Seriously. If this could be the first video of the entire season that gets 5,000 likes because me building a hunting pond has been one of the most requested videos ever, ever. And we're doing it. 5,000 likes, if they hit 5,000 likes, what are you gonna do? I don't know, go swimming in this when it's full. You'll be the first one to jump in. Yep. With your Yeezys. No. Y'all, yeah, with your Yeezys. No. That would be funny. Look, I, he's I like, oh, I can't do it. I, I'll go swimming. It'll be nice. Go and swimming. Clean. If you have a good idea of what we should do, if this video, how about this? Best comment wins. There's gonna be some terrible. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. You're in. Best comment wins. If we hit 5K likes, the best one, the funniest one, I'll pin it for sure, just for proof. We'll go through them together. And that's what we're gonna do, or that's what he'll do, or I'll do, or maybe we'll give away something. Maybe we, maybe a giveaway, a hunt giveaway. Decoy giveaway? Decoy giveaway. Drop a comment down below and let us know. Dude, old Garrett, he's cool, isn't he? Yeah, I like him. Dude, he started hitting me up on Instagram, I don't know, probably two years ago. It was like, hey man, we got a bunch of birds. He used to tell me about birds. And then when they started working on this bridge over here, he was like, dude, I'm going to be right by your house working. Let me dig you a pond. And I bet you that was a oh, year ago. That's how, oh, I was wondering how he got all the way down here. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he's so cool. P. Diddy just hit me with a big one. So I'll let you tell him. My dad bought a piece of property like five years ago and it had a pit blind on it and he hadn't done anything. With fiberglass. It. Fiberglass pit blind. It's a five or six man but uh, it's been just sitting at our place out east. And I just called him, I'm like, hey, can I uh, load that thing up, put it on the trailer and haul it out here next week? Dude. All we need is a backhoe. Oh yeah, we got it. He's got one. My buddy Zach's got one. Wade, he's got the track. He's got his yeah. the tractor, we could sink it. We're gonna put a pit one on the pond, boys and gals. It's, it's legitimately gonna happen, promise you. All right, let's go get a cold one. All right, see if she fires up. We got old duck poop out here. I miss her already. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Figured we'd start her up. She probably needs it. Um, we're contemplating life with the motor and the little boat situation. The screws rattled out of that. Oh, I'll be darned. What do you want to do with it? What do you think we should do? I want to give it one last go just for fun, but I think we need a bigger hull. Yeah. I just want it because when we ran it, come. This is the thing we didn't talk about. So this thing was trimmed all the way up. Yeah. We need to pull that pin. Lower down. 
lower it down so it sits like so it sits right it didn't have anywhere to go so that's it's not oh, supposed to sit so that low at least now you can control it by hand yeah exactly and we didn't think about it for some weird True. reason yeah we were pretty excited and it was real windy and i thought that you weren't going to make it that day yeah that day there boy the boat we need to give her one more go you know people did mention getting those tune things to put on the back fiberglass most people that add those add them to you can't aluminum. just buy them and like clamp them on or bolt them on i don't know i don't know about fiberglass though hmm. well next day p diddy myself and g wagon just got done uh dove hunting opening day hope you guys watched that video that video went up thursday if you haven't seen it go back and watch it next day this is what we're dealing with dude huge he went in it is so big so we have plans it's the next day we have all new plans for it let's see what g-wagon has to say about it it's big fill it up fill it up i know need to get water in her it's nice and deep yeah it's big so here's the plan number one i need cattle i'll butcher them i'll eat the meat uh, 110 percent whether it's the lodge family you know uh number one number two got to get some cows and put back here get them comfortable fences built barbed wire fences built man this is soft dude it's like it's wet there's water like right here it's Holy not, i don't cow. think you have far to go really you feel, just feel the way just oh yeah oh, oh yeah. you're like right there Oof. I can't believe he was driving that thing on that. I know. He did awesome. He would almost get stuck. Then you'd have to like wiggle it out and pull it out. But so get some cattle back here. Number two, number three, sorry, number one, number two, uh, put a well. So have someone come in and dig a well. And then with the well, we can fill the pond, keep it full, and the cows will drink from the pond. Uh, number three, we're going to bring in a really, really big backhoe. And right here where it's wet, we're gonna go deep because I want it to never dry up in the middle. I want it to just have water and I want it to, I want to put fish in it, man. Yeah. Keep I do. Them, and keep them alive. Yeah. I don't so he was saying he was gonna build the clay up a while. Dude, this stuff seems like it hold water. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Feel it. Yeah, it feels it's really I mean it's not bad clay. Oh yeah. Like, so that's the plan. Three things we gotta get done uh but the main part's over with um as you can see he still has the big machine here uh before he takes it he's gonna clean up that edge make it bigger because we have to clear more room around here so this dike has to go back to have enough room for that excavator to dig and i don't and to have the correct slope for going that deep I don't want it just to go a cliff down 20 foot. And if I don't push that hill back, that's what we're gonna end up having. So it's gonna be a process, but it's underway. I wanna give a massive, massive, massive shout out to Garrett, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, he kicked it in the lodge last night and we had some beverages, chilled and got this whole plan going. So if you guys enjoy the video about, uh, about the pond and you guys want the next one, let me know down below. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify when your boy uploads. Hope you guys are getting out there dove hunting. Do it. It's perfect weather right now. You won't regret it. Go scout you some birds. Go out there with a mojo and just smack them. But until next time.